Welcome back to Aldis Readings 5D. Grab a cup of sit back and relax. All the information for bookings is at the end of this video. Welcome back. We are here to do the karmic third party energy update. We also have divine masculine and feminine. So if you do want to go and have a look at those, we have weekly updates. Very separately, we do have the members hub for additional reads. And I do pop in to check on the twins to see how they're doing. And you get additional posts and updates. Um, come through and join us. Otherwise, yes, we have the star sign subscription that we've launched. So if you do want to look at that, we do have a duo package and it includes the Divine Masculine Astrology, the Karmic and, the, and um, Divine Feminine. So without further ado, let's get into the update. The Karmic this week, oh God, this has been one of those um, transitional stages that after the um, New Moon in Pisces, um, there's something they're physically not seeing inside themselves. There's something to do with the behavioural pattern that's coming up where they're not actually addressing it in that um, factor. Um, they're not, it can be lack of mentality, but it is coming through where this person isn't seeing um, that, that they, that they're having to face their shadow to do with the situation. I do feel some of them are realizing that, you know, and this is more so for those that do know about divine feminine um, or divine masculine, wherever this lands in the karmic polarity of situations. Um, that, that this person is still lingering there. So there can be this fair base frequency. There can be this real cocky energy that, you know, we're going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Um, but I, I just don't see that they're, they're seeing that this could be an egoic um, projection. Yeah. Um, they are looking back. They are looking at it, um, you know, that where they are, they're fine. Where they, everything that is happening is fine. It's going to be okay. They feel that they've they've um, you know put all their ducks in a row and everything should be fine, but but there is this feeling. Some of them are feeling they can get life back on track with divine masculine. Others are waiting. It's like sitting ducks. I just I heard this term sitting ducks. I'm gonna get this back. Some of them are actually feeling they're the twin flame in the mix. But there's something here that has reached a limit. There's something here where the love is not completely unconditional. I feel they're living on a thread of hope. It's very much Neptunian in nature. I feel they're looking at steps they can take to get this back into balance. <sighs> so funny how, you know, in life we have we have these tools. We have these tools where we can actually build, build our life back up and, uh, and make us so super um, successful. But we utilize it sometimes in the most obscure means. Um, and it's more to do with other people than ourselves. Um, the term circle of concern is coming up. And I feel this person's circle of concern is on other individuals, not themselves. It is for themselves. But it's it's more, uh, you know, what is Twin Flame doing? Who are they with? Um, if, I, if, the, if we can get back into balance, this is what I'm going to have. Yet all of that of what we want and what we have is inside us. But this person isn't looking at it this way. There could be a split in a family. There could be a dividing. It could be a home-related dynamic. Something has reached its limit. Again, this spiritual attribute of the connection at the moment, there is a lackluster here. And, I, you know, this card did come through in reverse. You may be feeling that we're not really connected in. We're not really having that deep spiritual connection. I do feel with the conflict that was coming through last week, it is still here presently. I feel they're linking into hope, which is really that Jupiter in Pisces. There's hope that they can get this back. There's hope they can get this balance. Now, it's funny because the, these cards um, are coming out reversed. Mending. It's, it's like they It's one thing to look at the hope and it's one thing to say, okay, do we have a spiritual connection? Are we in alignment? You know, are, are we the same kind of people? Do we resonate at that same level? I feel in the past, the, you know, their, their love interest be it was feminine or masculine in this third party situation. I feel it was that this person was operating through integrity and understanding because they walked a mile in this person's shoes. But it's almost like they're depending on this person's good nature at a foundation that it will remain the same. But I do feel because we're already moving through this Piscean energy into the Virgonian energy, 
it can be really critical. It can be to the point that we can be getting really um, strict with ourselves. What is the devil in the detail? You know, almost putting people up on pedestals where, you know, it's, it's yes, is there a need inside of this energy? The, the reason I'm saying that is because this position in the chakra system is the high heart chakra. We had the Leo moon last month. Um, the position on this person's body, you know, is all to, all to do with the transformation um, and protection. But it's also, an, it can be an egoic belief, but it, it, it's also the higher heart chakra, which is Virgo. It's, it's, it's Chiron in nature, the wounded healer trying to show this person this this human being is not your solution this resolve is inside of yourself something hasn't been healed between these two um they want to get it back they're hoping they can get it back into balance but something some they're not in the they're not in the same vibration they're not vibrating the same at the moment <clears throat> I feel that could be turning in towards family. I do feel some of them are moving in towards a friend to get advice. But this notion of, um, how do I put it? I'm getting that they're becoming impatient. I, I get at a foundation level, you know, uh, the things that we really want, we're always going to be super patient with, maybe over patient sometimes. I feel this person's losing patience. It's like, look, you know, I've tried a bit, so why isn't it coming back? I've I've pushed a bit, I've discussed, um, things aren't coming together, drama's still happening in family and tribe, wanting to have that deeper connection, but something reaching its limit. I, I feel as though, again, with the clarifier, we're getting putting eggs in a basket, we're getting the sacrificial no, uh, notion of commitments and, you know, what that would mean. And at a psychological level, Jupiter and Pisces, Neptune and Pisces, what are our belief systems surrounding that? And I feel this individual is looking at it from a belief system. It's like, look, that's your role. That's what I need you for. Um, so it, it's, it's still unfortunately coming through in a very codependent fashion. I do feel this person really alone. For some, it can be that they already have separated. For others, it's that there's conflict within this connection and they're not speaking. They don't know how to fix it. They know that counterpart's doing the right thing. But again, they're still having this... Um, you know, it, vibration that just doesn't go away. It just keeps coming up for them. The one thing I was hearing quite loudly, and we have the celebration card, we have the celebration in reverse as the outcome. <clears throat> I feel they don't know how to harvest this. So, uh, for some, it can be that it's their physical birthday. Um, for some, there is, it could be an anniversary or something, but there is a celebratory um, energy coming through which is a time frame they're directly showing me that this is playing out. Could have played out, but I feel playing out. I don't feel that, I, I feel after this, there might've been conflict that uh, these two may have attended a function. Um, and I do see for these individuals, um, it, it's very hot and cold. It's something, something went down. I feel after this, I feel that they're, they're really getting from the demeanor of counterpart because I see both the past and the future very much linking to divine feminine and masculine. And I feel this person knows this. This person knows that there's a connection between both parties here and inevitably there is something that's going to happen. They kind of hoped that this would have siphoned out, civiled out, um, but, but they're seeing that that isn't so. That they're kind of saying to themselves, how did I get myself in this predicament? How did I get myself in this third party energy? Um, why is this lingering energy still directly affecting us? Even if that person is or isn't there, you know, so they're wondering what steps to take to move forward. Some of them are wanting to move further away. 
Yeah, they're in awareness of it, recognition. But it feels as though it's very murky. It's very, okay, how do I protect myself? Amethyst. You know, this is really, you know, when we love ourselves, we realize that the past doesn't define us. It, it doesn't. Um, but this, you know, this connection between you and divine masculine is really haunting this karmic. It can be things that have happened to them in the past. This can be if they've actually had betrayals happen to them. I'm sensing that the past is coming up in a shadow face. They're not getting that. It also can be from a karmic point of view, they're feeling that they're, they're, they're living on borrowed time. Um, and that mainly can be due to the fact that they're having conflict within this connection. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Now, on counterpart side, I'm seeing, like I said, I was channeling this message of a party. And I saw this, this event. I saw something going down. Um, my guides are showing me that they're, they're looking back at that. They're reflecting back on that. This can be a previous event that happened or it's something most recently. Because some of it is actually most recently. Um, the masculine or the feminine, whoever is dealing with this karmic situation is not talking, but the, this person hasn't forgiven it. There is something to do with forgiveness, but unknowing why. They're not in their ego in relation to it. They didn't see it coming. They've seen this as a pattern. They are getting back into balance, but there, there's a lack of communication between the karmic and um, counterpart. <coughs> This person is getting themselves back into balance. They're creating justice in their life. Not only, uh, it is at the heart of the matter, they're going to have a talk, but they've reached acceptance. They're no longer in their ego to do with this. <clears throat> I feel they're very focused on their dreams. They've lost faith in this. We have the um, astrology card come out. Have faith in your dreams, but it's in reverse. Something of a behavioral sense has occurred and it's caused counterpart. <clears throat> My throat chakra is almost going through this. It's crazy. Um, something, how do I put it? They just cannot believe that they've seen something that's been in front of them this whole time. It's forcing them to look at the foundation of it. But, but they're losing faith in that. Well, um, and, and disillusionment ex is acceptance. Do you know what I mean? So this is the counterpart moving into acceptance in relation to this. This person, might, maybe for a while they were really stuck and they were feeling quite stagnant in it. The sense I'm getting is that that's no longer so. They're realizing that they couldn't fix everything. Now, I don't feel they're jumping in the deep end with um, anything else at the minute. I do feel whatever this is, they're stepping back from the painting. I feel they've had to. Not for any one given reason, for multiple reasons. But they're, they also know this person isn't letting go. This person's not getting the point. It's funny, counterpart, even though this person may be coming through in a very conflicted, orientated way, this can be aggressive, bitterness, it may be the way in which they communicate. I feel this person is just hush. It's like there's absolutely nothing to say. It doesn't feel, they don't want the drama, they don't want the fight, they're taking on that very Saturnian role, um, which is, you know, like an ascended master, trying to be mature about it directly in relation to, but it's also, it's the emotional intelligence. The emotional intelligence is, we've seen the psychological behavior, it's not really working, so if I'm dancing with this, I'm equaling and matching this situation. They're not seeing it as the most beautiful situation, they've got the rose color glasses off, um, they're no longer offering and giving freely. Uh, they're very um, 
they're very in awareness of this very much in awareness it's like look i'm not silly you can't pull the wool over my eyes the steps that they're taking it, it's really 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 helped them to reach acceptance and it's almost like if they can see any pattern coming through they're just really wanting to run for the hills um they'll go so far with this they'll understand they'll empathize they're trying to do this from a very civil point of view but I feel, you know, every step they're taking at the moment is more to do with their freedom. It's giving them personal closure. How is the karmic seeing the situation, please? <clears throat> they see it as their destiny. Um, they can be very forceful. There's a lot of throat chakra coming through in the karmic thread. This can be stalk calling. You know, really, really hounding in to get a demanding, you know, wanting an answer, wanting to know where they are, what they're doing. Um, this person doesn't want to talk. Yeah, a lot of emotions from the past coming up, not using their intellect and logic. Um, wanting to control the destiny, delusion in this destiny. Very stressed at a foundation. The stress is coming up and it's coming out in a projective sense. Um, this is actually forcing this karmic cycle to end quicker. We're going to get into the extension. If you do want to come and join us, I'm going to pull a few cards for feminine, a few for masculine, and one for what we don't see in a sense of what this karmic could actually be doing. Um, but we'll, we'll tune into it further. Come through and have a look. Otherwise, I will see you during the week. We do have a live on Friday, and we have the subscription hub on the website. Take care. I'll see you soon. If you haven't clicked the bell and subscribed, I'd love to see you. Come date me, as I say, on YouTube. And for 2022, we have a lot more new content. Romance reads, twin flame updates. Yes, we have the Members Hub online, so come through and join us. And giveaways. Very separately, two channels being launched, as well as the Membership Hub on my website. So please click the bell. I'll see you soon. And come and join us for the lives and the super chats. Any questions, DM me.